hello everyone you're welcome to my channel hope you're good hope you're doing well so today we're going to be learning how to draft um a bass corset pattern with a yoke attached to it we're going to be learning the tips and tricks in cutting a bass corset so if you're interested in learning how to make this kindly watch this video to the end and if you're new here you are highly welcome this is GB Fashion World where we learn pattern drafting, free and cutting and sewing as well. Kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more amazing videos like this. And to all my old subscribers, thank you for subscribing. Thank you, I really appreciate. If you find this video very interesting, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment for me down in the comment section. Let's get started. To get started, we're going to be needing uh, a basic dress block, that is uh, the your gown pattern. I've already made a video on how to draft this uh, basic dress block. So I'm going to leave the link in the description box below in case you don't know how to make a basic dress block. And this is what I have as the basic dress block. This is the front and this is the back. There are many differences. The armhole for the front and the back are not the same. The dart that I use for the front is 1-1 one, one inch on both sides and because of this bass corset pattern they were, were cutting, that's why I made use of the 1 inch at both sides. And the dart for the front and the back are not the same. The back that is usually longer than the front. And there are other many different seats. So if you want to learn this, how to make the basic dress block, please watch my video on how to make that. I'm going to leave the link in the description box. So the first thing I'm going to do is to move over to the front pattern. And because this is going to be a bust here, I'm going to be marking my shoulder to under bust, uh, my shoulder to under bust. So because this is going to be... Uh, it's going to be a bust here, so we'll be needing our under bust line. So I've gone ahead to mark my shoulder to under bust. Please, if you don't know how to take an accurate measurement, please, I'm going to leave the link in the description box on how to take your accurate measurement. So this is going to be my under bust line, and this will be my waist line. So I'm going to be contouring the under bust. And to do that now, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to come over to my under bust. Please, for my waistline, when I was drafting this, I added the dart for my waistline to the waist pattern. When I was drafting the two inches I took for my dart, I added it back before connecting. So I've gone ahead to mark one quarter of my under bust measurement. So did you see that? So this is my waist. The two inches that, that I took, I added it on the waistline and from my bust line, that's my chest line, I connected to the waist line. So it's very, very simple to do that so from my under bust now i went ahead to mark my under bust circumference one quarter of my under bust circumference and now i'm going to mark the dots on the under bust line the dots on the under bust line i'm going to mark it here so when i'm done marking it so i'm going to mark it here did you see when i'm done marking it i'm going to have excess Yes, I'm going to have excess. If you do this method, I'm going to have excess. And the excess I have here is around three quarter of an inch. Depending, you can have up to one inch excess, 1.5 inches excess, depending on your body shape. So I have three quarter of an inch as my excess. So I'm going to go over and shear it at both sides of the dart. And for this side, I'm going to mark half inch because this side is towards the bigger part. And for this side, I'm going to mark 0.25 inch. To, um, 0.25 inch. So it's very easy and simple to make. And the reason why I mark 0.25 inch there is because it's the smaller side. So this is 0.5 inch and this is 0.25 inch. So now from this point, I'm going to mark out. I'm going to come down by half inch from my under bust and I'm going to connect this line 
did you see that i'm going to connect it and also connect this point did you see that so i have gone ahead now to contour my underbust so this is how you contour your underbust very easy and simple so from this underbust you bring it that from the underbust you bring the line that the line the line leg uh, sorry the that leg back to the waist that so you bring down the underbust that leg to the waist that so did you see what i did so you can see it's actually very easy and simple making this so when i'm done contouring my underbust i'm going to contour the upper bust so from the shoulder line get the midpoint of your shoulder and co and connect straight to the bust point line did you see that connect that so to make a corset uh we normally use um from your bust point to your under bust the difference between your bust point and your under bust so if you want to learn how to make a basic corset pattern i've made i've i've i will link I will leave the link in the description box. I've made out of uh, drafts a basic corset pattern because this is going to have a yoke. So I'm going to determine how I want the curve to be. So from the underbust, I came up by 1.5. That is how I want the curve to be. You can go up more than that. You can go up more than that. So the best way is to measure where your client wants the cup to start, the, the way he wants the net, the yoke to stop, and where he wants the the, the cup to start. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to contour the upper burst. And to contour my upper burst, I'm going to be taking half inch at both sides. I came up by uh, 1.5 inch from my on on my post point line and i'm taking half inch at both sides on the normal if you want to make a corset that is going to that is not going to have yoke just a normal basic corset so you, you can contour with 0 0.75 or one inch uh for the upper bust but since this is going to have yoke so i went ahead to contour with half inch at both sides and connected it back to the bust point line so from my center front here i'm going to mark half an inch this half an inch is going to be the space in between the cup the cup is not meant to come uh it's not meant to be all together it's not meant to come together so i'm going to be marking the space that will be in between and i'm going to be using half inch and the highest you can use is three quarter of an inch or one inch depending but I make use of half an inch so did you see it's gonna be the space in between your cup your cup the two cup uh, the space in between them so the next thing I'm going to do now is that I'm going to connect um, my my neckline so from the corset the 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 contour line from this point now i'm going to mark my uh my neckline so i'm marking a sweet and neckline you may decide to mark a round neckline but i'm marking a sweet and neckline so from the the side now i'm going to come inward by 1.5 inch you are going to come inward by 1.5 inches but before that i'm going to connect this straight to the I'm going to connect this straight to the armhole. Please note that you can alter this pattern to your choice. You can decide to make your yoke to come up very well, not like what I'm using now. So I'm trying to teach you. I'm using the the picture of uh, uh the picture we are working with. So this is what I'm going to have. You connect your neckline and you connect also to the armhole line did you see that so this is what we have here so the next thing you're going to do is to get where the corset is going to stop so from your waist sorry from the side seam from the side seam we're going to come inward by 1.5 inches did you see from the side seam here come inward by 1.5 inches that is what you can use um 
for your corset but before then i'm going to add i'm going to add back this one inch that i use in contouring this the reason why i'm adding this thing back is because it's a yoke if you don't add it back you are going to shorten it's not going to match up with the yoke so i am adding it back and i'm going to take that i'm going to take the line back to the waist line I'm going to take back this line back to the waist line did you see that did you see so if if you are making a sleeve a sleeveless corset you can use 0 0.75 inch inch or one inch to contour and after contouring you're not going to be adding anything back to your um you're not going to add anything back to the line did you see that so you're not going to be adding anything because it's a sleeveless corset. But because why we added this is because it's a yoke. So you're going to mark 1.5 inch inward and then connect your cup. Did you see? I marked 1.5 inch inward and from there I'm going to connect this to the under bust line. So I've successfully formed this cup now. Did you see? I've successfully formed this cup. And from this point now, from this half inch point, I'm going to connect this second uh, this second cup to the underboss. Please, if you really want to learn a very detailed basic corset pattern, I, I have it in my channel here on this channel. Please kindly watch this if you are new here to corset and all of that. You can watch the video. I'm going to leave the link in the description box. So I've successfully mark my corset cup and this is what i have as the corset did you see that so moving ahead for the back's corset from my waistline i'm going to come down by three inches three inches is just perfect yes three inches is perfect from my waistline come down by three inches and connect to the waistline back you can use your straight ruler to connect you can make use of your curve ruler depending on the shape that you want to achieve so i feel that the curve ruler is going to be better note this is just for teaching purpose you can alter your pattern the way you want it to be so did you see what i did so i've gone ahead to draw the backs pattern so i came down by three inches from my waistline and connected it back so this is going to be the yoke part of my dress did you see that so for the back pattern the back is always back um what do you are just concentrating on the front part now you can leave your back like this but in case you want to attach a yoke to your back this is what you are going to be doing. Just come down and determine where you want the yoke to be. Uh, let's say I want the yoke to be like this. So I'm going to connect it to the armhole. Did you see? I'll just connect my yoke like this. This is if you want to have a yoke. But if not, leave your back like so. Did you see? So you can decide to have a yoke for your back or you can decide to have it as plain as that. So making a box corset pattern is very easy. So I'm trying to show you what we have here. Did you see that? So this is what we have as the box corset. So did you see that? This is the back. This is the front. So it's as easy as A, B, C. Did you see? So you might need to learn how to draft a proper dress block. I really explain how to make a dress block. So I'm going to go into the cutting proper just um just um watch and see how to cut this to avoid you making a mistake so let's continue with the cutting
Gonna be adding your sewing allowance all around. Did you see? So by the time you finish sewing it, this is what you're gonna have. So if you find this video very interesting, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. Bye.